going on with Chalax Dan and welcome back to another episode of Review Movies. And today for the fifth episode, we're going to continue the Evil Dead series with Evil Dead 2, written and directed yet again by Sam Raimi. And released in 1987. So, this film definitely is like the most iconic. Whenever someone says, oh yeah, what about Evil Dead? Usually, don't people don't think of the first one, they think of this film. So this one definitely has a lot more in-depth in it. There's a lot more than just, you know, a guy just trying to figure out what's going on. So yeah, so... Without just any, without any further ado, let's get into the review. So like I was saying, yes, this film was released in 1987 with a budget of, yeah, ten times the budget as the first film. This time it's 3.5 million dollars, directed by yet again Sam Raimi. So as you can see here, we have Bruce Campbell playing Ash, Dan Hicks playing Jake. By the way, just, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong and you're watching this, I apologize. Uh, we have Cassie uh, DePavia, DePavia play, uh, playing Bobby Joe, uh, Sam Raimi's younger brother Ted playing the possessed Henrietta. We have the the late Lou Hancock, rest in peace, playing Henrietta, the, the human Henrietta. Richard Domir playing Ed, Anise Bixler play, playing Linda, and Sarah Barry, Sarah Barry playing Annie. So the thing about this film, and yes, I managed to s somehow watch it. So the thing about this film is that it, uh, since there was obscenity charges about the first film uh, in the UK, they wanted to get like at least an R rating, so they're they're not going like full like full on balls to the walls with this, because that's what they did in the first film. They, there was so much blood, so much gore, so they're like, okay, we're gonna like we're gonna slow down on it, and in the end, they got it unrated. Come on, man. That's the thing. They try to like slow down on the films. They try to slow down on the rating for the films. Because, I mean, the next one, they wanted PG-13, and they got R-rated. <laughs> they don't like this film. Clearly, they don't. But let me tell you, I love, I do love this film. Now, as you can see here, I don't know if you can see it. We have some, uh, we actually do have quite some uh, amazing effects here. And, uh, <clears throat> so this kind of just follows the story of, um, this kind of, I guess, somewhat continues the story, but it tells more in-depth about the, the Necronomicon, or the Book of the Dead, I should say. This kind of just explains the story a bit, and it kind of goes even more in depth. And at least you guys can understand why I put this in the first film. Or right, for the first film, this will definitely explain if you watch the second film. So, yeah, and yes, this day, and yes, the dagger will actually have more in depth. And this, and yeah, now you get to see that uh, Ash actually had a chainsaw hand in the second film, and um, in the first one, he was just like, oh, "What's going on here? What's going on?" Ah. Uh, but in this film, he's actually understanding, and he knows what to do. Now, let me tell you, so yeah, like I said, the effects, they look amazing, as always. And yeah, this is 1987, so yeah. You know, yeah, CG wasn't a thing. And yeah, and we're getting close to, and I'll be honest, the 90s, like, late 80s to, nine, to uh, early 90s, those, those were, like, I guess, like, the good years of, like, film. I mean, yeah, there were good, there were, even, like, even better films. I mean, next next uh, couple episodes, we're gonna do a movie from the '60s, so good. Stay tuned for that. But I gotta say, this film definitely has a lot of potential. <laughs> way way more potential than uh, the first film it did. There are some things that I would uh, say that are just a little too over the top. I would say, yeah, the jump the jump scares and like the volume of of uh, everything, the jump scares, the volume of the jump scares, pretty much. They're they're a little bit too much. Cause it's just like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay, he's dead, we're good. And then the volume goes from like, uh, it goes from here and then just skyrockets out of nowhere. It just flies up to just absolute nonsense, you know? And that, and that's the problem. So, I gotta, so yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, I might as well take a star off of that because I'm taking a star off of that because like the first, just like the first film, there's uh, I should it should have been seven stars in the first film. But like the first film, there's a lot, there's a little too much of the, the volume of the jump scares is just like goes over the top. I feel like I've lost maybe half my hearing in my left ear. But but yes, although the movie's great, they did they uh, and yes, this is pretty much like as goes the cabin. Yep, the cabin's still the same. The Necronomicon it looks a lot better. Let me just say it. It looks I just it doesn't look as better as the first film because there was like a lot of stop motion in it. Because yeah, this is 1981. They want it was their first film, so they just like, like put a lot of stop motion, put a lot of into it. But now since they had, but now since their budget was bigger, 
since their since their but since their budget was uh, like ten times ten I think like ten times bigger, they just we can at least they can now at least you know add more to it. Since the first one they kept running out of money, but in this film they didn't really they re they pretty much had a lot of things. And yes, of course another there's another Linda, one of the many Lindas in in the films. And yes, we have another necklace. You have another uh, magnifying glass necklace that I guess doesn't, that definitely adds a lot more emotion into this film. Right off. But out of all that, that's pretty good. So I guess that's pretty much all I gotta say about the review. Let's get into the final rating. So as a uh, final rating for this film, I would say yeah, it is pretty good. The film's great, it's got a lot of potential. Uh, I'm gonna take off one I'm taking off one star for the mass the massive increase of volume when it comes to the jump scares like this. Especially when Ash becomes a deadite and it's just like the volume literally goes this high, it literally just flies everywhere. But also, uh, the the film definitely goes a little the film kinda seems slower. For per se, yeah. Per se it definitely goes a lot slower than the first film. Because the first film was like, oh yeah, it goes like this. It's it's pretty much simple enough, you know. A guy, a guy and his friends are just, you know, having a good time in a, a uh, cabin, and then think, and then you know, shit goes everywhere. <laughs> but that's pretty much what this. That's pretty much happening in the second film. Literally, it just goes nowhere. Because here's the thing. Although it does go nowhere, at least there's a little bit of comedy into it. But that's the main thing. They're just like. It's going. It's going everywhere. It's too confusing to even understand, and of course the next film would definitely start to you know get back on you know making sense. But yeah, so that so yeah, out of out of ten stars, just like the first film, it's gonna be eight out of ten. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Review Movies, and yes, I am, and yes, I managed to actually keep my promise and actually at least upload this uh, episode. And now here's the thing. This is. I forgot to tell you, I told you guys last year, because last year I was in uh, grade 9, and I was just trying to get, I was trying to, you know, get used to the fact that, oh yeah, we got exams to do. But it's because, yeah, I have exams every year, of course, yeah, it's high school, duh. But yeah, since I, since I have exams this week, I just did a religion exam, so, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to buckle down on trying to get that all out of the way, and then I can start a new semester. I can make out better. I can make out better videos instead of just giving you guys gaming videos and all that. I will, however, apparently Nani's lunch video, uh, that little like meme I made, I got that got a lot of views within only two months, as of the time I'm up as of the time I'm filming this. So I was think so I might as well so I'm gonna make another one, and I'll probably release it sometime in February, because the next since unfortunately the next episode is gonna be uh, sometime in uh, March, when I'm actually on March break so. So it sucks, but it's, it's, it's gonna happen. So, but anyways, uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And the next episode will be Army of Darkness, which came out about maybe five years after this film. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everyone.